What's up everybody, Foul Flames here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Obli Tile for Windows 8. Um, this video is a tutorial on how to make some tiles for your main screen that look a little less boring and more Windows 8-like, if you catch my drift. Because, uh, being myself, I find it a little annoying. So let's go to the Windows 8 menu now. And as you can see, uh, we have our tiles here. Uh, we have Photoshop and Chrome, which are two that I've already made, along with Word, Excel, PowerPoint Publisher, Dropbox, and Screenomatic here. And uh, the program I'm doing a tile for today is the, the, the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And um, as you can see, like the tile isn't as nice. It is just a plain gray default tile with the, uh, the program symbol in the middle. And uh, we don't want that. So we're going to change that using our new program, Obli Tile. Now we're back at the uh, main menu here, and I'm going to show you how to use Obli Tile. So let's open that up. So we have Obli Tile. Um, the pro program is pretty simple to use. Uh, we got tiles and a program button here for we can browse our computer for the program. We also have our uh, tile files here where we upload the actual pictures that we're going to make. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the program I'm going to do is GeForce Experience, but uh, you guys can do whatever whatever you guys please. So uh, let's get started on making a tile. So let's go to Google Chrome and get some pictures that we can use. So I'm going to look up the NVIDIA logo because that is basically what the GeForce uh, program is. So let's find a good NVIDIA one, like this one right here. Pretty simple, straightforward. Let's copy this image for now. Exit out of that. Now we're gonna open up Photoshop. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can use Paint or uh, some other image editing software to make the logos, but I find Photoshop the easiest. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna create new. We're gonna start with a image that is 150 by 150 pixels uh, resolution go 150 as well higher res okay so we have this nice little square here what we're going to do we're going to insert our nvidia image image of the nvidia logo and we're going to shrink it down to size make it a little, little nicer get to fit here mm. right, i think that's about good Alright, apply transformation. We're going to grab the black border of this image now, the black portion of it, and toss that. Now, the Windows 8 look, I'm going to re show you guys what that looks like. Uh, you probably have an idea already. But um, you can see, like, uh, games, mail, messaging, uh, store, music, they all have a color, colored background with a white symbol on it. And that's what I did here with Chrome, Photoshop, and these are here. So I want to do the same type of thing here with NVIDIA. So I'm going to now grab all the green portion of the NVIDIA symbol and hit over here to my layers, which are not showing for some odd reason. Whatever the case, I'm just going to create a new one. Grab my paintbrush here, and I'm going to fill this in white. OK. Perfect, that's gone. Uh, there we go, my layers are showing now. Uh, we're going to delete the old NVIDIA layer, go to the background layer, and choose the color that we want. So NVIDIA is green, I'm going to go ahead with green. Nice shade of green, and nothing too limey. Stick with that, let's throw that on the background, and boom, there's an NVIDIA symbol showing up real nice. And pow, there it is. Now we're going to go to File, Save As. We're not going to save it in the 4chan folder, we're going to save it in the Tiles folder. PNG. PNG is the uh, best file type for doing this type of thing as well. Remember that. Don't do JPEG or bitmap or GIF. Uh, what did it say? Call this file GeForce uh, Experience. Just name it whatever the program is called. That's what I'm going to do. And also maybe create a little, uh, file, little folder for your tiles as well. Now, the next thing you want to do is go for save for web because we're actually going to make a smaller version of it. So we're going to do a 30 by 30, a miniature version of it. I'm not exactly sure why the program requires this, but 
I'm assuming it's for sizing problems in the program itself. So we're going to make a small version of that. Save that. Alright, and we're done in Photoshop because we now have our tiles. Now, we're, now that we're done with that, we're going to go to naming our tile. So we'll name it the GForce Experience. Get the program browsing option. Click choose file um, on the desktop. I believe it will let me choose the shortcut for it if I find it. Um, did I miss it? Um, it appears to not be showing up here, unfortunately for me. So maybe I can go to the file manager. Is there another option where we can? Uh, Convert shortcuts to our uh, tiles here. I'm going to find the GeForce experience there. Perfect. Select that. Uh, click Tile, Pictures, Tiles, GeForce experience. I'm also going to pick the small one. Pictures, Tiles, GeForce experience. Small. Background color does not matter. Uh, I mean, this won't change anything except for when you go into the Windows option to pin another program to the thing. It'll show it with a little background of that color. So pick one that's closest to it. If, it, if the color's not there, don't worry about it. Uh, tile text, whatever text you want the, the words in the video or GeForce experience to be. Um, that's that. And you're going to hit convert to. In the corner, it'll give you a little notification here saying the of the tile has been created. So it's fine. We're going to Alt F4 out of this now. Head back to our Windows menu. And there it is, the GeForce experience, or the GeForce experience. Now you can see a dramatic difference with our new custom tile. So we're going to toss this. Do not uninstall this. This is bad. Unpin it. This one here is just a tile, so it can only be unpinned. But uh, if we click on this tile, you will see that it will boot up the GeForce experience. Simple. Yeah, something is clogging out with this program. Whatever the case is. Oh god, it's not done. Okay, um, so that is a quick to quick tutorial on how to use Albi Tile. Uh, I hope this helps you guys out with making tiles for all your programs. Um, so best of luck to you and uh, this is Fout Flame signing out.